So while I rip the hot glue dry for a minute, I guess I'll just do an overview of my machine because I've never showed it on video or anything like that. I've recorded some things I've made, buttons, etc. Um, it's all epoxy granite. Um, it's ex I'm extremely messy right now. My friends were working in here and didn't clean up. Yell at them for that. It's all epoxy granite, this whole thing. Um, this is shiny because I just wanted this top surface to be look good, but most of it is actually like that. Um, very minimal amount of epoxy. This stuff is heavy and dense and works well. Um, I'll explain this in a second. It, those are not permanent at all. Um, I guess I should actually devote a whole video to this because there's a ton, but anyway. Um, that is actually going to mount on the far side with a pulley or, um, so that this pillar can move in. Those little planks are actually just extensions to hold it in place for now. There are holes in the top of this to actually, there's a, there's, um, there's a mounting point inside of these pillars that goes down six inches or so that these will actually line up with when this moves in, but until then I just did wood joint. It kind of defeats the purpose, but it's really, like it's, no, I just shook it there uh, because I haven't tightened. There's a screw going all the way through the bottom, the other side to tighten things in. And um, I haven't tightened that in a while because I haven't had any need to, I haven't been cutting anything too difficult, uh, but yeah, so the point of is eventually to get rid of all this wood because it, this isn't even going to get anywhere close to bending or deforming while I have wood everywhere. Um, and I want to get to the point where my frame is going to do most of it. Um, but aluminum isn't the best for that either. I'm just working with what I can. Uh, under the epoxy granite casting, I used um, a seal. Let's see if I have any left over here. Yeah, okay, that's a good example. So this is a bad one, but all through the bottom portion of the, the base are these acetyl um, inserts that I machined on my little tiny hand lathe. Uh, it's just an M4 tap the top. Um, and uh, you can see right there that there's actually a piece of wood under it. The base, that was me being lazy. Um, all the wood was there for was to hold these when they were mount when they were initially being mounted. So I would I they were actually threaded on this side and then I screwed them into the wood. And then uh, I cast the first layer of epoxy granite. It's probably about an inch. And that held them in place pretty well. Um, and yeah. That was that uh there have been a ton of issues though with getting my base like actually level and a whole bunch of other things as you can imagine with casting something like this without um, a machine. Uh, machined insert, or large machine that casts insert all the way through the entire thing to make sure everything's constantly level, etc. Because uh, my little hand mill is not that it's not as precise, or either that or I'm not precise, but it does have a lot of give in it, slop, I guess. Um, and so this distance right here, the distance, this distance doesn't matter, This because this is what goes into the wood. It's the distance from this end to this end that matters, because that's, you know, if one's five inches and the other's four inches, the bar is going to want to sit like that and sit like that. So over long distances, if they're all tiny differences, um, they'll average out to level, but averaging out to level is not exactly, or not level, will average out somewhere high. Um, they'll average out somewhere. Um, now whether that somewhere is like this over the distance, or this over the distance, or that, um, was, I had no idea how that was gonna turn out. And I wasn't really thinking about it that much at the time. A lot of this machine was me planning ahead and being prepared and then working on it and being sloppy or working on it after a long day of school or just when I was tired.
tired, not in a good mood, drinking, or something, insert excuse here. And so uh, there's a whole bunch of things that I think worked and didn't work. Like for instance, this top bar, this cast bar, is a perfect example of where I royally messed up. So these are more acetyl inserts. This is how I attach the plate to the mast. It's not a mast, but attach via these. And you don't really have to look very hard to see that they're not in any sort of like order or anything like that. And that's because when I cast this, I realized I forgot to put these in. So I panicked and like just stuffed them in as quickly as I can. Um, this is wood. The reason why this is redwood is I don't know if I was overthinking it or not, but apparently redwood and epoxy have the same uh, coefficient of thermal expansion or similar. Uh, so I thought that it would be a good idea to do that to prevent cracking because I'm in Houston. It gets very humid and like very hot and humid during the midday. Uh, or during the summer it's always hot and humid in spring, but during the beginning of spring and late winter it'll be really, it'll be cool in the mornings, not really cool. Cool like 50, 60 and it'll heat up to 90 by the end of the day. So I didn't know how quickly all of this stuff would absorb heat and so I just did that just in case. There's actually a crossbar going through of redwood. Um, oak, sorry not redwood, oak, red oak. Uh, maybe I overthought it. Nothing bad's happened. I don't know if it would have happened with or without it. There's no way for me to know that but I did it anyway. But yeah, this I mean, machine works. So I've made things with it. I've made buttons, I've made some parts for my dad. I've, <laughs> I've fixed some things in the house, I've machined, I've cut aluminum pieces for people on Craigslist. This is actually when I messed up. It's like a, it's like 50-51 aluminum and I was really lazy in coating it and I tried to plunge and it didn't, I just plunged and I'm supposed to cut out probe files for a 3D printer part and <laughs> It didn't actually plunge all the way. That what happened was the entire uh, this bottom piece of wood was just flexing down, and it bowed out, and then it I didn't actually cut. Um, I've never, I never, I hadn't up to this point. I hadn't dealt with a wide piece of aluminum like this or anything. Like if I was able to clamp it up in a little vice, actually my vice is on the other side of that piece of wood. Use a vice to clamp a piece of aluminum or something, I could cut it easily, no issue, good finish, etc. Um, but yeah. So, wow, I'm good at rambling. I need to cut these videos short or edit them or something, I don't know. So yeah, uh, sorry about all the mess. It's usually, I try to keep a clean, a semi-clean shop. I hate wasting a ton of time looking for things. Oh, you can barely... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that, actually. See my hair.